Hi, welcome to the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Patia, the show where we talk about things that are happening right here, right now in Patia, as well as news, tips, advice, and just general discussion. Okay, so before we get into today's show, please remember to hit the subscribe button, and if you'd like to be notified when we bring out a new video, please hit the bell icon. Okay, so today's Coffee Chat is going to be about what was your first ever trip to Patia like? But before we get into that, I just want to say one thing, please. And I want to say a huge thank you to everybody that has been supporting the channel. We're growing really rapidly now, which is incredible. Never, ever imagined for a million years that we would start to grow like we are. And the support that you have given us, those of you that have bought us a coffee to help us cover our costs. Again, thank you so much. It really is appreciated and very helpful and you know, just enjoy, I wanna say thank you. The last coffee chat we did uh, was about the future of Patia uh, after COVID and the, the interaction we got was amazing. So thank you for your support. I just wanna say that now so that you don't miss it if you do drop off this video before we get to the end. All right, so what was your first experience coming to Patia like? And I wanna ask that question because we had this discussion the other day and it was brilliant. I mean, some of the stories that were coming out were just outrageous and when I think back to my first time here I was actually in Koh Samui and I was in Lamai and Chuang and I met a guy and he said to me if you think the the, the uh, girly light area is good here go to Patia he said you will just be blown away and to be honest with you believe this or not I had never heard of Patia I didn't come to Thailand because of Patia I came to Thailand because I needed a break etc etc so Suddenly, I'm in Patia, and I met a guy who I've become long friends with. We've been friends for over 10 years now, nearly. Um, and I won't mention his name, but he knows who he is. Anyway, I met this guy, really, really nice guy, incredible musician. But he showed me around Patia. And the first place that I went to, and he said to me, he said, you're never going to forget what you're going to do tonight. He said, you're never going to forget this. And we went to a place called the Windmill. Holy, holy beep. It was like, what is going on in here? And it was just crazy mental. I couldn't believe that I walked into a place where there was 60, 70 girls. Some were on stage, some were with the customers, some were on this mat. <laughs> and uh, I don't need to go into detail, and I'm not going to go into detail, but they were on a, a play mat. And uh, I'll leave that to your imagination. And it was just full on in your face. It was like, wow. And from there, I went further up to Soy 16. And there used to be a club there called X Zone. I don't know if you guys remember it. And I walked through that. Well, you got the stairs and I walked in. And the first thing that greeted me, bear in mind, I'd just come from the windmill experience. The first thing that greets you is, was, a, was a stage with a, with a pole. And there was a girl sat there playing around doing stuff. And she showed me a tube of gel and a plastic glove. And I was just like, <laughs> is this for real? Like, I mean, honestly, what in the world have I walked into? And it blew me away. And yeah, we had a great night and, you know, we went from bar to bar to go-go bars to, to club. And yeah, absolutely, 100% an incredibly memorable night and what an introduction to Patia. It was just wow. But I want to ask you guys please to tell me about your first time here. What was it like? And it doesn't have to be the all the, the very first time as in like oh it was just amazing. I'd like to know about when it was in the olden days. What was Patia like? pre all these girls arriving what was walking street like what was the first bar on walking street i have no idea i, I really don't there's um there's a, a go-go bar on beach road um the life of me the, the memory's gone now is it tequila or something like sunrise anyway there's a go-go bar there which um which offers to be the oldest go-go bar in this city i don't know if that's true but um, if you do know, please drop the comment below. But what was your first experience like? When you came to Patia for the very first time, how did it go? What, what, what was your first thing that you did? Please drop a comment, share those thoughts. And, and as I said before, please 
you know, not just about the girls, maybe it was a, a memorable experience where you went somewhere or maybe, you know, it was a, an experience where you've seen things happen and you're like, wow, wow, that's, in, that's amazing. What was Patia like before it became this mecca of entertainment? What was it like? I wasn't here, I, I've been here 10 years. So when I came, Patia was already an established and, and world famous nightlife area. But it didn't start that way, as we all know. It used to be a sleepy fishing village, and uh, the, the US Navy used to come in. I believe it was the US Navy used to come here. So it's obviously grown, and, and I'm sure people watching this video, you will have experienced that at some level when you came here, because I'm guessing some of us came before others. But what was it like? What was it like? And how was it? You know, was it as full on as it is now? And were girls pushing you for drink and drink, and what, you know, the prices, etc.? What was your first time here in Patia really like? Please drop a comment below, let us know. I'd love to know what your experience was and I'm sure people that will read this will interact with us like we've been doing and uh, share their comments too. So please drop a comment below and let's see what your first time in Patia was really like. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you would like notifications. Um, if you would like to support the channel, there is a link below for the buy me a coffee link. Um, any any uh, coffees bought really do make a difference and help us a lot. So thank you so much for that. And that's it for me today. So whatever you're doing, wherever you are, please stay safe. And thank you very much for watching the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Patia.